A narcotics detective in the Allegheny County DA's office is facing charges. Investigators say Raymond Bonacki admitted to providing a juvenile with Adderall and injecting him with testosterone during football season. But as Jennifer Barrasso reports, the detective's lawyer contends the whole case is problematic. Court paperwork shows Raymond Bonacki admitted to giving a juvenile Adderall and injected him with testosterone during football season. I'm told Bernacki worked for the Allegheny County DA's drug enforcement team and has retired. His attorney believes the charges will be dismissed. According to the criminal complaint, a state police trooper interviewed Raymond Bonacki and his wife here at their Murraysville home. The two felony drug delivery charges resulted during the course of a state police background investigation. It was discovered that sometime in October of 2019, the defendant did provide the victim, who at the time was a juvenile, Adderall pills and advised him to take them and injected him with a needle filled with testosterone to enhance his performance and attention during football season. The trooper asked Bonacki if the incident was true. The defendant stated that this was true and that he did commit the acts in question. And once the complaint was filed, according to the DA's office, Bonacki was suspended with pay. And after 17 years working as a detective, he has since made the decision to retire. Bonacki's attorney, Michael DeRiso, defended his client. I think the uh, whole case is, is problematic because they've charged a decorated officer, a detective, um, with a drug delivery charge predicated on an interview with his son who is in the State Police Academy. DeRiso believes the charges are weak. Nothing has been recovered. I'm not quite sure what they're hoping to get from this, but I think that there are serious problems in their case. And then you have a, a district attorney's office who suddenly announces that he's retiring. And, you know, I just find it disloyal. I find it disingenuous. Raymond Bonacki's next court appearance is in September. He's out on bond. In Pittsburgh, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA-TV News.